Hi, my name is Mark Miller, and I'm a graduate student in Professor Jun Lan Wong's nanomechanics lab at the University of Washington in Seattle. And today I'd like to demonstrate manitron sputtering, which is a technique used for depositing thin films. Uh, briefly, thin films are important in a lot of different areas, such as uh, microelectronic devices, uh, photovoltaics like solar cells, um, as well as uh, thermal barrier coatings for gas turbine engines, and many other areas as well. So we'll get started with the sputtering process. Um, the first thing we need to do for magnetron sputtering is clean a substrate and mount it on our substrate holder, uh, which I've already done here for the purpose of saving time. Um, next part of this process is to load it in the load lock chamber. Um, and after that, we'll move it to the main chamber where we do the deposition process. Uh, before I do that, I would just like to give a little preview that when I move this substrate holder to the main chamber, I'm going to capture it with a propeller, and I'll bring it to the top of this main chamber. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'll invert this. Um, I'll just demonstrate with an Allen wrench. Uh, the propeller is going to go down to my substrate holder. I'll rotate it to lock it in place, and then I'll pick up the substrate holder with the propeller. So I'll do that in the next part of this process. Um, at this point, I'll go ahead and load this uh, substrate holder in the load lock chamber. Um, I'd like to point out that I've got three screws on the front of my substrate holder, and that's going to face this gate valve. So now I will activate the load lock pumps. Uh, this is going to take about five minutes to get a vacuum in the load lock, so I think that we can take a short break and then come back after that. Okay, so now we have a vacuum in the load lock chamber, um, which I can see down on this uh, pressure gauge. Uh, currently the vacuum is 2 times 10 to the minus 5 millibar, and so we've matched the vacuum um, reasonably well with the vacuum in the main chamber, which is shown on this uh, pressure gauge. Um, and I'd just like to mention that the purpose of these two different chambers is because um, we always maintain the, the main chamber um, in ultra-high vacuum. Um, this takes a while to produce a vacuum in this large of an enclosure. And so as a result, we like to have a load lock chamber, uh, which we can get a vacuum in much quicker. And so that's the purpose for these two different chambers, uh, which we isolate with the gate valve. So back to our sputtering process. Um, I need to open some valves on these tanks. I'm going to open an argon valve as well as our nitrogen valve. Um, argon is for our process. Nitrogen is going to be for our vent when we're finished with the sputtering process. Um, so now at this point, I'm going to move the uh, substrate holder from the load lock chamber to the main chamber. Um, first, I'm going to open the gate valve. I'm going to verify the height of this actuator is at 30 millimeters or smaller in number. Uh, the reason for that is because the propeller that I mentioned earlier, we want it to be clear of our substrate holder when we move that from the load lock to the main chamber. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I slide over a magnetic manipulator from the load lock to the main chamber. Um, and now I'm going to um, capture the substrate holder with our propeller. So I've captured the substrate holder with the propeller. And now I'm going to return the uh, substrate holder and propeller up to the 30 millimeter height. So I've done that. I'll move the tray back from the main chamber to the load lock. Now I'm going to close the gate valve by rotating this clockwise. I'm going to close the viewport shutter like this. 
Okay, and now we're ready to do our sputtering process. So I'll turn on substrate rotation. We see this green LED comes on. Now I'll go over to the laptop. I'm going to throttle the VAT valve um, like this. <clears throat> I'm going to start the argon flow. Um, here I'm using 10 SCCM. So SCCM means standard cubic centimeters per minute. And I'll strike a plasma, um, in this case in DC1, direct current 1. So I'm going to use a 10 second ramp time to get up to 10% power. This is a 10% of 500 watts, so that's 50 watts. <clears throat> we see this purple light comes on, which indicates that we have a plasma. Um, and um, now we're in a condition called pre-sputtering. Pre-sputtering is where um, we're cleaning the surface of our uh, sputtering target, which we're going to um, deposit onto our substrate. And we're also cleaning the substrate as well. Um, typically, we pre-sputter for about three minutes to clean the surface of the target in our substrate. Um, for the purpose of this video, we'll just do it quicker. Um, now we'll go ahead and deposit the film, which I'll do by opening this, um, this chimney uh, shutter. And so now, um, based with this green light, it shows that we are depositing our thin film on our substrate. And we'll typically, we, we do this for about um, anywhere from a few minutes to possibly hours, depending on the desired thickness of our thin film. Um, and so for the purpose of this video, we'll just do this more quickly. Uh, so I'll go ahead and um, say that the process is complete. So I'll close the chimney, uh, turn off the plasma, um, stop the argon flow, um, and open the VAT valve again. And so at this point, our thin film is deposited, and we need to reverse the loading process. Um, and then when we're done reversing the loading process, uh, we need to vent the load lock chamber. So to vent the load lock chamber, and we need to open uh, a shuttle valve, which is on the back side of the um, sputtering system. So I'll just point to it. It's back here. Um, and I'll rotate the valve um, counterclockwise uh, to open. And at that point, we'll have um, nitrogen gas, which can be uh, used to vent our load lock. Uh, we'll turn off the load lock by um, flipping the switch to open the load lock circuit. Um, and then at that point, the um, process is complete. We've got our sample back in our um, load lock chamber. Um, then the final steps are to uh, close our valves on our argon and uh, nitrogen tanks. We also need to turn off substrate rotation here as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and close these valves. And then finally, we need to record our usage, which is a very important step. So in our case, we have both a printed logbook as well as an electronic version, which we can access um, on the internet. Um, and for a final product, which I've already prepared, I've got a thin film um, on glass. Um, so you can see it's reflective. Um, it's just a mirror, basically. Um, in this case, the material is actually aluminum. Uh, the clear spots are uncoated substrate, so you can see that they're transparent because this is a film on glass. And that's all for my demonstration on magnetron sputtering. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time and attention today.